There's a bear. Okay, that's a bear. Lydia, there's a bear. Bite the bear, Lydia. He's... Oh, oh, great. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Lydia. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. Uh, so, one thing to catch you up on off camera, I've went ahead and installed the display enhancements uh, mod. Uh, there's two things I've actioned with this. I've changed the field of view to 90, um, so you just get a, a much better depth of gameplay. And I've also activated preset 28, which I think I mentioned in an earlier episode. It just blurs the uh, the distant LODs. Uh, it hasn't made any sort of change to the, uh, the colour depth or anything like that. I just think it adds a nice cinematic effect. I've also went ahead and had a little think about what we need to do next logically and obviously where we're going to progress various stories and i think for the time being probably the most logical thing to do would be to pop up and see the greybeards uh, that's going to unlock level two of the unrelenting force shout um we might even be able to further that quest and get level three of unrelenting force which is going to just be a super handy utility um, just to keep people away from us in times because obviously we're using Atronax, we're using followers, we're a bit squishy so it's, it's going to be a handy thing to have just to keep us safe really, especially if we're using a bow in close combat so it, it's going to be a good thing to have. Also from there I would like to get my alteration up to level 40 so we can get a Cardo's preparation. If we have a look here in the alteration tree Carto's preparation will automatically cast a flesh spell when we enter combat. So that's going to be really, really nice to have. Um, I'm hoping to pick up the Staff of Paralysis too, which is in a cave close to Markarth. Um, another thing that will be handy is we're just going to keep an eye out. And The reason I'm in this pub <laughs> um, was to see if Sam Goven was here, because if we can start that quest, that'll also uh, be a good one to have. We can... Um, get on our way to having the sanguine rose which is going to allow us to um summon a dramora lord which will be a, a nice addition to have if we're doing sort of the summons i'd also like to get our sneak up to level 40 so we can get the bow damage perk um i think following on from there as we go through that'll probably when be when the light grind kicks in so we'll do a little bit of smithing a little bit of alchemy um, maybe even a little bit of enchanting just some crafting skills I don't intend to use them heavily um, alchemy being the exception to that I don't intend to craft anything for myself I don't intend to enchant anything for myself because I want this to be as explorative as possible uh, but just having some excess perk points and some more health some more stamina some more magicka is going to come in handy um, and if we get a decent amount of money of making you know plenty of potions and enchanted equipment and we sell them Legend. I can start purchasing restoration um, training which there's some really nice passive perks in here I believe uh, so things like that you know inspire um, in a light blessed they're, they're all gonna be nice to have all right so that's the plan so first and foremost we're gonna have to just rest up here uh, what time are we on? No, we don't have to rest up. We just need to get some food. There we go. Done. And we'll go and get the, the cart back to Whiterun. We'll work from there. And uh, From Whiterun, we'll go through Riverwood and Helgen. And then round to Iverstead. Which will be where we sort of rest up. Gather ourselves. And then we'll try and take on the uh, the climb to High Hothgar. Now, we've got a horse. So that's going to really expedite the process. Which is going to be nice. Um... But it is going to be cold nonetheless. So we're going to have to make sure we have a torch equipped when we do the climb. Even when we're on horseback, it's going to help keep us warm. Um, and I'm hoping to just dodge by the combat as much as possible. This is what I was talking about with uh, preset 28. You can see there in the distance that it's, um, that it's just blurred out. I think it just adds a nice cinematic effect, to be honest. I'm probably going to dismiss that bone dog. <laughs> the bone hound. Bone Wolf, whatever you like to call it. I'm pretty sure it's the Bone Wolf, actually, now that I think about it. Now, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to dismiss it, just because you keep getting in the way. It doesn't actually add anything in combat, and we're not doing a whole lot of undead quests right now. If we go and do the... Um... Oh, are we, are we allowed off? There we go, that'll do. 
Can we go to White Run, my friend? Where do you want to go? White Run, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there's a horse's ass. I did have a little thing about the whole walk to Markarth from from Solitude. It's not a bad idea. It's just there's there's not a great deal to do along the way other than uh, sort of fighting people that we bump into. Obviously, dragons are a thing now uh, in our gameplay, so we're gonna have to be wary of of the dragons. There's my horse. Um, we're not gonna bother going into White Run. We're just gonna do one straight around the Riverwood. Nice rainy days. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. I feel like we're getting somewhere. You know, we've got more offensive capabilities now. We're probably ready to take on a little bit more than bandits. Uh, Drogger crypts aren't out of the question, I would say. I know that Bleak Falls Barrow was a piece of piss, really. But then again, because of that being part of the main quest, and that's probably why um, it was leveled appropriately for the early game players to be able to get in and out, you know. Which re actually reminds me, uh, following on from the dragon fight, we do have some um, dragon bone supplies. We're going to go ahead and sell those. They're nice to get a little bit extra cash and they're far too heavy if we've got some other adventuring in mind. So we'll, we'll ditch those. Holy shit. I swear I'm not going to touch your cow. Thanks. Woo. I forgot for a second there whether whether or not he's going to turn hostile if I get too close. Now we'll quickly check the time as we get towards Riverwood and make sure that it's not going to get late on us. There's something else we could do that would make this playthrough a touch more interesting. Now, so far, we haven't travelled at night very much. And for the most part, I don't intend to. Um, if I was playing on my own, I would. Uh, you know, the, I'd just camp whenever was um, necessary. Not necessarily overnight. I'd just camp when I can. But for you guys, um, night time's obviously quite dark. So it's 4pm now. It's going to make sense for us to just sell some gear. We'll go straight to uh, Lugan. We'll sell those bones off. We'll double check that there's uh, if there's any food we can have in the um, in the inn. Back where it belongs. Thank you. Quick drink, apologies. All right, where are you, Lydia? Still here. I need to trade some things, please. Take those. Can you wait at home? Uh, wait for me at home. Mail watch. will be fine. Great. As soon as I have seven and a half grand. I will definitely be buying the house next to White Run. Care of those. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, before I do that, I'm a, a little bit extra money. We'll get the uh, amulet of Zenithar on, and we'll get Radiant Raymond's fine clothes. Well, I was thinking we should. You and me. Stock all kinds oh, a bit of, of this and a bit of that. You know, cater to some of our more okay. No, we're gonna keep all of that. We're going to keep all of that. Yeah, we, pr we probably should have dropped that off. I don't think it's going to come in all that handy because we're not doing um, a Necromancer playthrough. It's more of an Atronach summon. Okay, we'll get rid of the bones. We're going to keep a hold of the Soul Gems because we most definitely want those uh, for the sake of recharging some staffs that we're going to be using quite a bit of. We're still keeping a hold of that for when we go to Dawnstar, we might as well. Hans's journal. Yeah, we'll keep that. I don't know what it's for, but we'll keep it. We'll get rid of the mead. Keep those. Mm, yeah, we've we've yeah we don't want to sell anything else right now. Okay, that'll do. All right. Let's change our apparel back. And we'll definitely put the hunter's backpack. On now. Yeah, you can fuck off. Yeah, we have it. So we'll rest up, we'll grab some food, 
Is she back, actually? She is. Thank you. You're that vis Sure thing. It's yours for a I'll be seeing you soon. Lydia. Thank you. We got rooms and food. Have you heard any rumors? Nobody trusts those mages way up north in there. Ah, blah. That's all right. Any more? We've got something of a love triangle here. I've already sorted it. Fandel and Sven. Both. What have you got for seal? Take a look. Chicken breast, yes. Oh, goat roasts. And a venison chop. That will do for me. Okay, that's the owned one. Lydia, please. Be careful. I'll be careful when you stop blocking doorways. Alrighty. Uh, we'll probably set out nice and early. I mean, 5 a.m. 5 will be fine, considering the trip we're going on. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, there's something that we could do. There's a Creation Club piece um, which releases zombies across Skyrim. And I, personally, I really like the encounters. They're very tough. They do come in swarms, uh, but they only come at night. So if I'm not doing a lot of traveling at night, it's not going to be too much of a difference. But it might still be interesting. You know, there might be some times where I just it's not feasible um, to stop for the night when we're out and about. And that would become a factor. There we go. So we could possibly do that. Although it would mean doing it along the way. Right, it's a little dark. We'll probably chuck a torch on for the time being. Make sure we stay, you know, decently covered from a warmth perspective. Now, what will, what will we pass along the way? Obviously, we'll go through. Helgen. There's probably going to be some bandits in Helgen now. Uh, there normally is after you after you trip back. Uh, so we'll take care of the bandits. If I was a higher level, um, we could probably take on the Hag Ravens and get Nettlebane for for when we go back to White Run uh, for the sake of the Kinnereth quest. Well, the the Church of Kinnereth, the Temple of Kinnereth. Shall I say? We could do that. I might have a try, you know. Might as well. Probably could have went up the back of White Run, actually. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Lydia. Lydia. Let me go ahead and get. <laughs> um. Oh, we could try Wabberjack, actually. This could be fun. And we'll get Oak Flesh out. Let's get some cover. Where's Lydia? I thought you'd run faster than this, Lydia. Please. There she is. Okay, let's jump off. There's a major up here, and I definitely want to see what she's got. Yeah, nothing that way. Let's quick save. Where are you? Are we going to get caught off guard? No, there you are. Yeah. Whoa! What is that? Not yet. Oh, that do poison. Oh, there we are. Let's go in with the uh, with the dagger. Die, witch. Oh, well, that was but for nothing at all. Uh, was that an Atronach up here I saw, though? It was. Let's get the fire salts. Cool. All right, where's my horse? Try to keep up, Lydia, please. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, how far away is my horse? Yeah, 
Yes, ride four, please. Okay. To the bandits in Helgen. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're a very low level. Got some god rays coming through there. Will not be long till uh, sun up. Cave all you eat here. And go ahead and get a frost atronach up. Actually, it'll be flame atronach. It's probably going to be better. Um, and we'll get our oak flesh. I'm going to make sure I keep that cast. It's an apprentice gate. Are you guys going to open it for me? I can see you. Will you open the gate? Oh, one's dead. Okay, and we're back. Apologies about that. Uh, controller did just die on us. Come on, I'm not going to be able to get... Can I get one inside there because of me being able to see through? I can. Hey! <laughs> okay, take care of those guys. Well, I'm busy trying to unlock this. We've got 14 picks. I'm going to have to make a quick save here. This is going to be a pain. I can just tell already. Oh, there it is. Right, so that's the general area. Boom. One down. What you got? Nothing good. But I will take the fur braces because we are doing poor for warmth. Didn't have any gloves on. Huh? One down. Well, two down now. That was a thug too. Not bad. I think we'll take the helmet for Lydia. See, while I appreciate that Lydia does have a bow, I really don't want her to be using a bow at times like this. Right, you get down there. That's the perk, the perk of using a staff. Look at that, just the range on it's crazy. That's it, you. I'm going to use Lydia as a meat shield. Uh, there's some more bandits around the other side by the looks of it. Are you guys coming through here? Yep. Get back, please. That's it. Ah, oh, it's just a bandit. I'll be fine. The low level. By the looks of it, I might not have to power level out, uh, enchanting as much as I thought. If we, uh, if we're going to be using Steve's, and it looks like Vokri is um, allowing me to level up just by having one in my hand, so it's a nice addition healer. Yeah, no portions or anything to be had. One sec. If I correct this. There we go. Okay, so there's one on the other side, but I think we can probably go ahead and just ignore it. Let's just double check if this gate needs to be picked. Does. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, see him again. Quick save. I don't want to run out of lockpicks on this. Ordinarily, I mean like if it's if it's locked, I'm not gonna try and budget. You know, if it was just a chest or something, um we really will have to spec into lockpicking if we want to be able to get into chests. Given the uh, the difficulty. And look at this, I mean it's an apprentice. Normally there's about 33% of it. 
Um, where you've got a little bit of leeway. Oh, there we go. It's right next to the top. That's actually okay. He sees. Well, I barely moved. Ah, oh, barely moved. Come on, that's got to be it. Ah. Oh. Great. Okay, we're through. A little bit touch and go. My horse. Ah, there you are. The weather's miserable. Oh, I've got the helmet for Lydia as well. Oh, I forget. Yeah, we could we could potentially go up and round and fight some necromancers, and it would release the undead swarms um, around Skyrim, which would make it interesting. But personally, because I'm a pussy, <laughs> I'd like to leave that for now. And uh, next time we're in the area, hopefully a little bit of a higher level, we'll be able to go and pick them off. No problem at all. Same with Hagrivens up over there. So we'll uh, we'll just we'll just squeeze by that for now, and we'll just keep on track. Get what we came to do, and the whole reason that I'm progressing with the main story right now is to get the unrelenting force shout. Uh, like I said earlier, just for a bit of insurance, I think it's going to come in dead handy to be able to just force push people away, especially when we're in um, a lot of tight spaces and there's multiple enemies. That's going to be a nightmare. The air is frigid. So let's go ahead and uh, pop a torch on. Not for light purposes, of course, but it does give you extra warmth. On another subject, when I was putting together the mod list, there was one particular mod that I really wanted to have, um, but unfortunately I opted not to for a reason um, that I didn't really need to make that decision for. So Know Your Enemy, uh, key E, as you'll see it on the Bethesda Net forums, is a really interesting mod that adds um, a bunch of weaknesses. It basically adds traits to pretty much everything in the game. So enemies and armor types being the, the main ones. So every enemy type will have a series of resistances and weaknesses. And there are books spread around Skyrim when you use it. And if you collect the books, you get an insight into the, let's say, trolls, for example. You get an insight into trolls. And that will um, that will allow you to do more damage against them, but also know what is good against them and what isn't. I believe there's normally some wolves around here. Pack of wolves. Pack of wolves, anyone? Oh, they've been killed on account of the immersive hold borders. That's a, that's a nice touch. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, Know Your Enemy. It's a, a really fun mod, and the reason that I didn't pick it up was the Creation Club content armors don't have the keywords associated with them. And it was my belief at the time that there was no mod that corrected this just always thought that way. There certainly wasn't last time I used it. Um, it was just a shame because obviously there's a bunch of armors that's added that I just wanted to be part of the overall theme. And uh, we, we couldn't do that. And then I went back on the uh, <laughs> on, on the mod forums and found one. It was a patch for all of the Creation Club content. An all-in-one. So if you're a Creation Club fan, and you like know your enemy, but like me, you didn't use it because of that purpose. Don't worry about it. There's a mod there for it now. What time are we on? It's still early morning. We could probably just do a runner. We get a flyer here. She's our only child, but on your way up the seven thousand steps again, Quibbity. No, he's not. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to high rock guard. Plymouth, I'm going to interrupt now. I'll take it for you. 
Mostly food. The graybeards tend not to get it. Well, it's trouble is my leg. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies. I'm doing it anyway. She'll see the offer chat. So let's go. Um, Lydia. Ah, she's there. She's good. Perhaps one day. Let's go. I'm pretty sure at various points there's like frostbite spiders and there's a troll and I intend to just run by them <laughs> as quick as I can just run by him there's a bear okay that's a bear Lydia there's a bear bite the bear Lydia he's oh oh great oh yeah fantastic Thanks, Lydia. Yeah, that's fucking swell. What a dick. Sworn to carry my burdens, my arse. Please, goats, please. Oh, torch is out. Get another one on. The air is frigid. I think there's probably going to be another enemy here. Maybe some wolves. Oh, fuck, yeah. That's worse than wolves. Come on, we can do this. We can get by without conflict. Oh, there's another one. It's because you can't use staffs on horseback. That's bullshit. You should definitely be able to use spells and steves on horseback. You can on dragonback. Which I thought was interesting how they didn't implement that into horseback riding. When they added that uh, functionality. Just seems strange to me. As is Bethesda Studios' way. Right, this is a nice halfway point. Quick save here. Just in case I'm a fucking moron when it comes to this troll. I don't think we will be. I think we're going to breeze by. Having a horse is a lifesaver. Gonna drop me head. Nah. Now, under normal circumstances, I could definitely fight him and be absolutely fine. But because we're battling the elements here as well, I've just opted to uh, take the easy route. And just breeze on by. We're nearly there. Gets shouted at by some old men. Fun, fun, fun. One thing I have forgotten to add is a mod that improves the stamina of horses. My god. But I think I might have to do that retroactively, actually. I might need to go in and uh, install a mod for that because this is pitiful. Maybe the speed as well. Be nice to be able to get across Skyrim without having to pause every 10 fucking seconds. Alright, we've arrived. Let's uh, pop the supplies in here. Done. Horse, please. If you don't go in the left door, there's something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> i actually seen a poll on that uh, online before. Which door do you use at High Hrothgar? Actually seems like a lot of people use the right door. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment. In the turning of the age. You call me Dragonborn? What does that mean? 
First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. You can taste my storm atronach, mate. Have it. Dragon. Uh, take that torch off now. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. It is I, Dragonborn. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Because you fucking shouted at us from the top of a mountain? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Thanks. Thanks for all the help. I'm ready. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first... Sorry, one second while I munch a whole <laughs> leg of goat roast in front of you. ...towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. Mm -hmm. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master uh -huh. will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. What am I looking at here? Some chicken scratches on the floor? Cool. how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. What was that? <laughs> Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Move back, Lydia. The battle get messy. Did you see that? That was some dope shit, right? Well done. <laughs> Keep your knickers on. Maybe not. You like what you see, huh? <laughs> you learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Thank you. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Will do. Panicked for a second, I thought he was going to see it was the bedroom. <laughs> okay, torch up. Because it is cold outside. Ready to read some more chicken scratches, guys. We will now 
mercy how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Let's just walk over the top of this for no reason at all. Before you can project it into a thumb. I've seen this. It's like when you walk over hot coals. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, I made it. Thank you for pouring your essence into me. Very grateful. Let's go change it. The amount of times that I've made that mistake in the past. <laughs> Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Here we are. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay, I'm not interested in learning anything else. Do any of you guys remember uh, when the Connect released for the uh, the Xbox 360, that they put a patch out where you could use voice commands for shouts. I just remember feeling like an absolute cock, sat in my own bedroom, seeing Foos Rodar every time. <laughs> Foos Rodar. Meanwhile, my parents were like, uh, "Brian, what what are you doing?" Oh, I'm just speaking into a fucking game. For absolutely no reason. Okay, what time is it? It's uh, 1 p.m. We're gonna do some Skyrim horse mechanics here. So we got the second word, and we can go ahead and uh, oh, not the powers and the shouts. Re-equip that. Keep our whirlwind sprint. Let's look at the map. What's our orientation here? Uh, we want to be back down towards. White run, ideally. And uh, what was next on the agenda? I think it was get alteration at level forty. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could either um get into combat with something like mud crabs and basically just spam oak flesh a few times, which I think might do the trick. It's only a few levels, or for long term um leveling of actually I. If, if we're going to be auto-casting at level 40, I don't think we're going to need to worry too much about alteration from there on out. But we do want to definitely get a higher level of, um, of flesh spell. At the minute, we're just using oak flesh. Oh, we've got stone flesh. That's cool. So that's going to be fine. I wonder whether it actually takes the um, the cost um, or not. Hmm. We shall see. So yeah, we're going to go back down towards uh, Whiterun. I'm going to see if we can survive just mooching down on our horse. So we've got north. Uh, west is where we want to go. Let's quick save it. And see if we can uh, we can live. Sorry, horsey. You can take it. Back on yourself. Zigzag. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. That's it. That's it. Just a nice little trot. That's all we need. We're good. We're good. Hey, nearly there. Oh, that's north. Remain true. 
and come this way and then hopefully go around this this point. Oh shit. That's it. Just let gravity do its thing. And let the uh, Skyrim horse mechanics do the rest. Nee, shit, I'm chilly. Whoa. Come on, we got this. Look at that. What a champ. And... Booyah! Down we are. Right where we want to be. Nope! Nuh-uh. Mm -mm. Nope. Not necessarily where we want to be right there. In the water. That's it. That's it. Kitties don't like to swim. Yep. That can get fucked. Okay. All we need, really, is some mud crabs. So we'll park our horse up. And we'll move around the corner towards um, Halt the Tree. And then we'll uh, we'll start spamming some Oak Flesh while we're in combat. I think we're going to have to make Lydia steer so she doesn't kill them. I might just speed that up. Or potentially I could do that off camera and um, come back next episode with Alteration at level 40. And looking at the time, that might be the best thing to do. So just so you guys are aware of what I'm going to do while I'm off camera... I'm going to go ahead and park my horse up, tell Lydia to wait at the stables, pop around the corner, get into combat with some mud crabs, and basically just kite them until my alteration hits level 40. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. My name is Brian, this is Botched Up Games, and remember, if you can't beat them, botch them. Take care.